Hello crafty friends, welcome to another clean and simple wedding card video. Today I'm going to make a card for you using smooth white cardstock. I've got a card blank, a stitched rectangle panel and some bits to cut things from. I've got this which is left over from my last wedding video. I'm going to use some of these white flowers that I cut out and didn't use. I've got some gold Nouveau drops. I've got an embossing folder with words on it and these are, I think it's from 1 Corinthians 13 in the Bible, the love is patient, love is kind, uh, love does not boast reading that you often hear at weddings so I thought that would be appropriate. For my sentiment I've got a On Your Wedding Day which I made using my Silhouette Cameo. I designed the sentiment in the software, printed it off and then cut it out with my Cameo. But obviously you use whatever sentiment you want on your wedding card. I've got a leafy branchy die to go with my flowers and I've got two nesting heart dies, one bigger than the other. The first thing I'm going to do is emboss a piece of smooth white cardstock using this embossing folder. In my cuttle bag my embossing sandwich is the thick plate, a cutting plate, a embossing folder with a card in it. I often add a cardboard shim and then the other cutting plate and then I'll run that through my cuttle bag. And here is the embossed card. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that but it's got lots of lovely textural words on it. Next I'm going to find the centre of my card panel which is here and I'm going to draw a line in pencil very lightly to help me line up my die and I'm going to cut a heart shape into my panel and I can line up this point here and this point here with the line that I've drawn. This is the smaller of the two hearts. I'll use a sticky note to hold that in place and then run that through my cuttle bug. And now I've got a panel with a heart shaped hole in it, bang in the center in this direction and in the top half in that direction. I've erased the pencil marks with an eraser and you'd never know they were there. Next I'm going to take my large heart die and the small heart die that I used to cut that with and line them up to create a frame. So I want to get these two points lined up and these two points lined up and equal distance here and here and between the here and here. And that way I'll be able to cut a frame. So I just pop a bit of cardstock on there, put that in my mini Gemini folder and run it through my mini Gemini. And this is going to be a frame and it's going to sit perfectly perfectly on there. I'm going to add some glue, dot it around the frame and then add it in exactly the right place on here. Now I'll just press that down with a bit of non-stick deli paper to keep the card clean. So I'm just cutting down the embossed writing so that it fits behind my card panel. I'll pop some glue again around the edge of the aperture just to get that to stick down. And all I want to do is make sure the writing is horizontal and the panel is hidden and I'll get that non-stick deli paper again and press it down. You could, if you wanted, put a layer of card or a layer of craft foam in between the panel and the embossed paper or card. That would give you some extra depth. I think that looks fine like that. And that's now ready to go on my card blank. Now I want to cut this leaf out of some gold cardstock. Now this is just white card with pale gold Nouveau drops on. I did it earlier so that it would be dry ready for filming and all I did was put some on a bit of card and take a palette knife and just smear it around. You can do multiple layers, you could use your fingers could use an old gift card or a brush even to spread it out but you can just do that and leave it 
to dry before die cutting. So I run that through my mini Gemini and that is going to go on there like that but if you've left a bit of a gap here you could tuck the end of that underneath your heart aperture. I'm just going to snip off the end so that it butts up against the aperture. Just add some glue to the back of each leaf and to the stem in a few places and have that there like that. So now it's time to make some flowers to put on my branches I think. So I'll have five because I do like odd numbers. Pop a bit of glue in the centre of one of each of my flowers and then add another one on top rotated so they're offset so you get a fuller flower so i've got a variety of sizes i've got one larger one two medium sized ones and there'll be two smaller ones as well and to give my flowers a bit of dimension i use my embossing tool to press down in the middles to curl the petals forward and I'll pop a bit of glue on my mat dip my flowers in them and add them. I don't want to cover up all of the leafy branchy bits, I want some of that gold to peek through. While my flowers are drying and before I add my flower centres, I'm going to add my sentiment over at the bottom of the heart. Just make sure that's nice and straight. I don't think it needs any support, I think it's fine. And because we've got the gold Nouveau drops on the leaves, I'm going to add my flower centres with gold Nouveau drops. Of course, if you knew the colour scheme of the wedding, you could tone your card into that colour scheme. But white and gold is always a, a nice wedding combination, I think with a nice pop of black in that strong sentiment. Right, that's it. That is another wedding card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed it and it's given you some ideas of things you could do with dies and bits and bobs in your own stash. If it has, please do leave a thumbs up, let me know in the comments, subscribe, ring the notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.